Hi, my name is Katie. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. You saw my last painting. I did a uh, four chamber split cup. I was experimenting with consistencies of paint. It's been very hot and my paint has been acting strange. And I went a little thicker with this one. Anyway, I see a tree. At the at night. It almost looks like there's blue in this light, but it's black and white. Anyway, today I want to layer uh, a few small, three little three ounce cups and do some wandering straight pours. I'm going to be using primary colors and black and white. I'll see you in the studio in just a second. All right, I've already filled four little cups. I'm going to fill one more so you can see how I filled them. This is Cyan Blue by Amsterdam. This is Oxide Black by Amsterdam. All my paints are mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol. And the consistency today is about about a three. If you leave a trace on top of your paint, it lasts about three seconds. Yellow. That's primary yellow. Titanium white. They're all Amsterdam. Black, I'm going with the black right here. And then the red. And end it with a little cyan blue. All right. Everybody's over here awake, just sitting there staring at me. Uh, and that's funny. Er, earlier today, I noticed that uh, my one of my chihuahuas has a, a blue tip on the end of his tail. And it's funny. They're very good about staying away from wet paint. They never track it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how he got the... I think it's thalo blue. <laughs> All right, I'm going for a little different composition. I want to do wandering straight pours. You want to do it on a diagonal. I'm gonna go this way, that way, back that way. I believe. I want to go a little further. Next one. Okay.
Yeah, that was more of what I was looking for. All right, I have one more cup. Do a straight pour, a straight pour. Hmm. No, I'm just going to go. Share it. Cool. Definitely going to need a floor extender. I should have had these upside down. With all these paint left in them. Um, let's see here. I have, I have some black. A couple of blacks. been from a, my earlier pour. Now, I like my full extender to be the same consistency as my paint. Um, you see me adding water because I've had the black sitting out here for a couple of pours. So this morning, need a little bit of water. Now, most of you fluid artists probably know it, but there may be a few people that don't. These three colors 
primary magenta, primary red, primary yellow, primary cyan or primary blue, black and white, depending on who you ask, make approximately 17 million colors. That's right. Some people think it's closer to 19 million. I'm not sure what the human eye can see, how many, but there's approximately 17 million colors. And they all come from red, blue, and yellow, black and white. I didn't put full extender in these triangles because if I tilt that way and bring it back, I may end up bringing black back into the composition, which is okay sometimes. Instead, we're going to marry everybody up here. It's fun to play with primary colors sometimes. my paint down. Back to the middle. Yeah, I'm going to bring it to the other corner near you there. As you can see, probably my paint is a little thicker. Uh, the last few days I've been having issues with my paint and I, I think it's just the weather. So it thickened them up a little bit because uh, they were spreading out. You know, you leave the painting and you come back and it's, it's not the same. It's, So if you're having problems like um, maintaining lines and things like that, just thicken up your paint a little bit. I think that can help in the warm temperatures. I 
And when you thicken up your paint, make sure you make enough paint. I multiply the horizontal by the vertical, by the, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> this one by this one, get that answer, and then divide that by 16 or 18, depending on the thickness of my paint. Um, and I hear a lot of people say you should divide it by 28, but it's just, that's not enough paint. You got to figure in your flow extender, your thickness of your paint. All right, coming to that corner. See, in sleep while I paint. Stop. They're good little guard dogs. Nobody can sneak up on the house, including a squirrel. Rocky. I have four chihuahuas. A mommy, a daddy, and two of their kids. Two little boys. Rocky. Rock man. Ooh, that's pretty. Yes, primary colors are fun. Depending on how you layer them, you can get other colors, of course. Orange and green and purple. I want it to basically have red, blue, and yellow, white, and black. Okay, let's see where the paint is. Always bring the paint back to the center of your canvas. Let's see, do I like that? Just like that? Yeah, I'm gonna give it one spin. Get that corner right there. Very good. Oh, Rocky, no. There's nobody out there. When you're done painting, always scrape the bottom edge of your canvas. Touch up your corners. I'm going to take my gloves off and uh, give it a final torch and bring you down for a closer look. You're always going to have a lot of bubbles when you do a straight pour. I like that. All right, I'm coming to get the camera. Yeah, it's pretty. Excuse the glare. 
I love it. This looks like a big leaf right here, a fern. It's hard to get this in the camera. It's a 12 by 24. Let's see here. Not sure of the orientation. I like that, I think. The details are really pretty. Yeah, primary red, primary yellow, primary cyan, primary or primary blue, depending on who you. And black and white. Lots of fun. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm real close to 5,000. You'd be helping a girl out. I like this right here. All my colors and everything, my, my pouring mediums in the description. Thank you. Please come back and see me again. Bye.